Hello everybody. I hope you had a good day. Uh, today we are going to uh, look at how we can run uh, CNC code generated from uh, FreeCAD uh, on running it on uh, a hash control. Now uh, I've been uh, sort of absent from YouTube for the past two months or two months or so. Uh, I've been kind of uh, busy. Hopefully now I'm back and my pressure at work has decreased. I should be able to record more uh, videos. So if we check uh, the, if we check the, uh, if we check the last video we had, uh, remember we had uh, designed uh, this part and then we simulated it. And we're able to prove that uh, we have designed the part in FreeCAD. It simulates okay. Uh, it runs well. And that was in FreeCAD. So, but uh, it, it's not necessary that it's going to run well on the machine you, you're using. Uh, some people are having Haas machines. Some people are having Mori machines. Some people are having Fenok machines. So, uh, it, it depends on the kind of machine you're using and you'll have to customize a G code for that machine. Now, for my case, I have uh, experience with uh, Haas controls and I have a, a Haas simulator. So that's what I'm going to use uh, to test out a G code uh, from FreeCAD and see if we can uh, run it out uh, without any major errors. Now, remember when we were setting up this job, I advised you to select a uh, Linux CNC as the post processor. Uh, the reason was is uh, the G code Linux that pros processor generates is actually Fenok compatible. And you can also change the Hass controller to run Fenok code. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And basically we shall actually be adding a single line of code on the post-processor generated code, and it should be able to run on the uh, Hass machine. So uh, in order to export your G code, you'll go ahead and click on your job and then click on the post processor. Once you click on that, uh, it's going to save the file as uh, a notepad. So we can go ahead and save that. I've saved that file in that folder, the file named uh, flange2. So you can go ahead and save that. And then uh, go ahead and open it. And this is how your code will look like. So the normal uh, code, as you can see, everything is in there. So the only adjustment I made on this file is add this line at the top. That is a requirement for the uh, has control. It won't be able to run your G code if you don't have that line. So it's a zero, uh, not a zero, but an uppercase O, and then uh, digits. So those digits could be any numbers, which should be unique. And that's how the uh, control will identify that file once it saves it uh, in memory. So uh, we are done with, uh, once you're done with exporting uh, that file, then we need to load it uh, onto the machine. So let's go ahead and go to the has control and we see how we do that. So uh, unfortunately, I, I don't have uh, a camera, uh, but on a uh, has control, uh, if you've used the uh, NGC, the next generation control, uh, it looks uh, almost the way you see uh, this picture, right? 
uh, the way you're seeing it there, that's how the NGC control looks. So uh, if you have that machine, uh, you can actually just follow uh, my steps, but this is what I'm going to do. Uh, on the machine, I will go ahead and press uh, settings. And then under settings, uh, we shall go ahead and scroll down to number nine, which is dimensioning, and then press uh, the left arrow key. Uh, that will give us an option to select between inches and millimeters. Now, since we designed our part in metric, uh, go ahead and select uh, MM and press enter and uh, go to number 33 and change the coordinate system to Tenok. Uh, that's all you need to do on this tab. And then uh, depending if you have your machine uh, on the network or you can use a USB drive, uh, go ahead and go to uh, network and then scroll down to local share and uh, turn it on. Then local share password, you can leave that on or off depending on your network security. Um, all my devices are behind a firewall, so I've turned that to off. And then scroll down to enable SMB version one support and turn that uh, to on. So and that's how we enable NetShare. And what we're going to do is uh, we are going to go back to uh, our machine. Uh, this is on the Windows machine. And we go to the uh, File Explorer. Uh, let me open here a File Explorer. Then we go to File Explorer. And you'll see the machine name on your network. Uh, you go ahead and click on that. Uh, let's go back to the control and you see that. So if you go to the control and we go to, we scroll up to machine name. Uh, you can see that I gave it uh, a machine name as uh, as CNC and then uh, that number. So if we go back to our file, file control, you'll actually see that machine uh, appear on your network. I'll go ahead and select, uh, go ahead and select user. Uh, it appears on the network and go ahead and select user data. Uh, double click on that and it will bring you the folders on the control on the hash control i'll go ahead and click on odd and then uh open uh your file location where you saved the g code and drag and drop that on the control okay let me also actually the one i put on was the wrong one let's uh, delete that uh, let me put the correct one. I called it flange two. Let me replace that. So once you put that file onto that PC, which is a control, uh, we can go back to the uh, screen and you'll see that, uh, go back to the screen. So I'm going to go back to list programs. And then go to user data. Since I saved that in that uh, folder, you'll see that you can see the file I saved on there. So if I go back to my PC, uh, this is the file. That is the file. And if I go back to the control, uh, you'll see that that is the same files uh, selected. So go ahead and highlight that file on the control and then uh, press the button select program. Once you press that, uh, that is going to be loaded and ready to go. So you can always go ahead and click the program file and that file is going to be ready to be uh, ex executed. Now, what we can do is we need to go back to Offsets, go ahead and press the off Offsets button. Um, make sure you have uh, the Work Offset uh, selected, right? So as you can see in the program, how we programmed it, we're using uh, uh, G54 code. 
uh, a work offset. So if you can look at this control, I've put my offsets, both the X, Z and Y as the offsets under G54. So since that's what I'm calling uh, in the code, right? So make sure you have your offsets uh, set correctly. And also if you're, if you're using uh, given tools and dimensions, you go ahead and also define uh, those tools, okay? So once you're done loading the code, uh, you can go ahead and press uh, graphics. So you can actually simulate uh, your code and make sure it's working okay. So let's go ahead and press uh, graphics. Hold on. Graphics, oh, sorry, press the wrong button. So go ahead and press uh, graphics and it will actually load uh, your program uh, and just display how it looks like. So if you compare this, uh, just compare the screen it's showing and that simulate, if you can see that animation on the top bottom, which shows our capture from FreeCAD, you can see that they look uh, relatively similar. So let me go ahead and click uh, Psycho Start and you'll see the control try to run through the G code uh, very fast. And if it encounters an error, it will throw that error. So let's go ahead and click Psycho Start. So it's going to run through the G code real fast. Uh, you can see uh, that's done and the code uh, seems okay without uh, any errors. Go ahead and press the home button on the controller and this should take you first press program and then press uh, home and it should go back to the top of the line. Now, if you look at this uh, feed rates on that machine they were high, uh, that's uh, based on my last operation. So I'm going to put my feed rates uh, down, I'm going to decrease the feed rates. Uh, I'll just put it down to like 10% and also put the spindle at 100. I'll just put the spindle at 100, then change the rapids to 5%. Yeah, since we are going to run that code for the first time, uh, we need the feed rates to be slow. When the spindle, we can leave it at 100% and then the rapid, rapids uh, can go really slow. Now, uh, what we are going to do is uh, we simulated the code and the control shows everything is working okay. Now, in, in most cases on, uh, when you're on a shop floor, uh, you're going to monitor the job while it's starting for the first time or when you're machining the first part. Now in this instance, that's why you see I've uh, reduced the rapids to 5% and reduced the uh, feed rate. So once I click uh, start, I should see what I programmed in FreeCAD. Uh, when I see the simulation and I see the machine is following the same path, then I can push that to uh, a higher feed rate. So currently everything's simulated okay. I'm going to go ahead and press uh, cycle start on the control. So there we go. Uh, you can see the machine is starting to run. If you want to see uh, the movements, look at the XZ positions. And then uh, you can see the cycles. And if you look at the G code at the top, you're going to see that uh, the machine is going through a line of code at the same time. So once you confirm the machine is following the correct path, then you can actually put your feed rates to 100%. So I can put the feed rate at 100%. And then also put the rapids at a hundred percent. So, and also the spin at a hundred percent. So to, to make sure everything runs okay. Now, what you programmed could have been like, maybe you see it as faster on uh, FreeCAD, 
but once you start running it on the machine, it may start appearing slow, right? So in most cases, since you've already simulated on the on free card and everything is working okay, the values you're going to try to manipulate actually are going to be the rapids and the feed rate. Yeah. So you can adjust that even the spin to speed depending on the cutter tool, right? So if you know the cutter tool is okay, uh, you can actually increase uh, the feed rate. I can actually push it up, let's say even up to 150% uh, or 170%, right? That will increase on the speed of uh, how fast the, the part is going to be completed. Now, you can't uh, adjust rapids because those are going as fast as the machine can. That's why you can't go beyond 100%. Uh, but in most cases, feed rate and the spindle speed sometimes can go hand in hand. So depending on you, how your machine, you can listen to the machine and know it's uh, struggling. So you may want to increase the spindle speed. So what you can do is you can push it up maybe by 10% until where you get a good cut. So as you can see, our code is running. Uh, no errors on the has control. So, and we only made a single change uh, by adding uh, the uh, prefix uh, at the top of the line that the uh, has control requires in every file. Other than that, everything, so long as you've defined your tools uh, in the control and you have them in the, la uh, in the right carousel or in the slots and you run your machine, as you see, I didn't make any adjustments uh, to the code and it's running okay on the Hass machine. So that's uh, how FreeCAD is. Uh, if you're not, uh, drawing uh, complex parts, you can use uh, the current uh, free card uh, CNC add-on to actually uh, make parts that can run on a CNC machine. Uh, that was my test. Uh, I think that will, will do and have uh, a great evening. Thank you and bye for now.